Hello, and welcome back to more Environmental Station Alpha with Brian. After watching a video from fighting the robe statue, is that what he's called? I realized something, which was that I had kind of misunderstood how to attack him. He, you need to attack the head, and it's the case that... Oops, ah, oh, darn it, okay, that was... <laughs> Unfortunate. To, ah, okay. Well, this will be our practice round. <laughs> when you get into the second phase where his head starts flying around, you need to keep attacking the head. And I had just been trying to, like, shoot at the main portion of his body. And I need to hit the flying head when the flying head starts flying around. And so that's basically what I'd misunderstood. Uh, but I think I understand it now. And so hopefully uh, I'll be able to do a better job. Okay, and in any case, that that attack is reasonably easy to dodge, and this one I've definitely gotten better at dodging. Oops, all right, shouldn't have taken damage from that one. Now I feel silly. And let's see, dodge, dodge, ah, I didn't dodge that, okay. <laughs> all right, well, this is good practice. Oops, and I landed inside there and got hit by that one. All right, like I said, good practice. And I could probably... I'm not good at holding the button to charge up my attacks. Ugh. All right, but here's the phase where I need to hit the head. There we go, in order to deal more damage. Okay, so I got him halfway down that warm-up. We did a poor job getting up to that room. Okay, managed to avoid damage going through that room. So that should be good. And it probably also doesn't hurt to try to charge attacks at the very beginning when it's kind of easy. Oops. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't overstate easy. Oops. All right. Okay. I did a better job of dodging that, I think. Okay, and this one... All right, I've already taken some damage, and so now I'm kind of in for a penny and for a pound, I think. Okay, let's just try to focus on not taking any damage here. Ah! Alright, I might have to go silent for this and really concentrate. Because it seems like I'm struggling otherwise. Alright, but here is where we need to hit him in the head. And actually, when he's flying around, that actually gives me some opportunities to hit him from, like, angles that are otherwise difficult to hit him from, so that could be a good thing. Okay, this is not going badly. Okay, let's dodge. Ugh. Okay. Oh boy, I've almost got him. Yeah, I got him. Hooray. And I still have five health left. Okay, and I didn't do a great job on that, so he definitely was not as hard. And it was mostly me focusing on knowing what to do. Now let's see if we can get to a save point. Just as they said, there are some suits left here. Oh good, we're gonna get the heat suit. The IA mainframe room cannot be entered now that the security system has kicked in, so my best bet for deactivating it lies in the AI control room. If anything, I can look up some data on what kind of virus could cause this much chaos. Map updated with the location of the AI control room. Okay, it's down near the bottom. Great. Uh, any obvious secrets in here? No. That, I guess, is the heat-resistant suit. Indeed, you found a heat-resistant suit. Great. No longer take damage from heat. Any secrets over here? Not that I can tell. How about over to the left over here? I hope we get to a save point. Nothing obvious there either. All right, well, let's fall down here and see where this brings us. Oh, into the volcanic sector, and here's a save point. Okay, great. So, cool. Another boss down. Where am I? Okay, I'm in a portion of the volcanic sector I've never been to before. Any chance there's a secret over here? Doesn't seem like it. So I guess it's kind of dropped us right into where we probably need to explore next, which is the volcanic sector now that we have the heat resistant suit. So let's stick around here. I can't go down there yet. 
Um, however, it occurs to me, I got this horizontal dash that allowed me to dash through uh, these wind currents, if they were horizontal wind currents, and I know eventually I'm going to get a vertical dash, and so let me make a note of 2510 as a place to use a vertical dash. All right, but let's continue through this room. Looks like, oops, I can horizontal dash uh, <laughs> through there, if I do it correctly. Spinning wheels of death. And over here, oh, this looks like, yeah, this is a room that I think I could kind of like barely get myself into, but then I didn't have the heat suit and I died. Right. So yeah, we got into the right side of this room before using some clever tricks with a grappling hook. So the right side of this room probably isn't useful, so we probably want the bottom left or the bottom right as directions that we need to go is my guess. So let's try going bottom left first. Oh, there's an energy tank. I want to be there. Except for I don't think I can get there from here. It looks like I have to enter from the right. And how about down here? Oops. I wanted to... Okay, this just gets me back out, it seems like. Well, back out is not bad. Now I know there's an energy tank there. So let's let this thing go on by. And this will get me back to another save point of places that I've already been to down here. And yeah, I think overall that will be progress. So the save point, I think, is like just a couple screens down from here. Yeah, I remember it. It's right over, oops, over here. Yeah. Okay, so now we have all of that on our map, and there is somewhere else to go over there as well. But I should make a note of that energy tank. Oh, I can probably get to that energy tank right now, actually. Uh, it looks like it's just like left and up and right, I think, or something like that. I don't think these uh, swirly balls of fire were here before, so they must have been something that got added when I turned on power on the station. But it doesn't seem like they do terribly much damage. Let's see, how am I going to need to get up here? Uh, oops, okay. That's, if you fall in the lava, you still take damage, even with the heat-resistant suit. Lesson learned. So now my next question is... Can I get up here somehow? Probably. Do I need to... Oh, there's gold blocks up there. Feel like I need to do something clever with the grappling hook? Hmm. I think I maybe see a way. Okay, I tried to get upward in this room a few times without success, but it occurs to me I've also never been down. So, why don't we go exploring this way instead? That will also be exciting, although I need to make a note of the energy tank that I left up there right. All right, I made a note to come back there. Let's check out what we have in here. Uh, lots of... <laughs> lots of flaming death, basically. And I imagine the thing below is just going to be a way to get back up, but I guess let's take a peek down here. Maybe there is a way to go down? No, that just looks like how to climb out of death. That's my interpretation of that. And so it's just a matter of finding the right timing to go across here. That doesn't seem too bad. Oops, okay. Uh, yeah, still not bad. Oop, except, oh, okay. I need to save my double jump. There we go. Okay, great. So where am I now on the map? Totally in a new spot. What are you? Are you something I can kill? You seem to be invincible. Okay. Do I think I need to go left or right or just down? Let's try just down. And I guess I'll just like phase through him like this and then hop. Okay, he's gonna chase me everywhere. But he only goes up and down. Okay, fair enough. So I guess I can do that. And then that. Oh boy. <laughs> this is quite the little gauntlet we have over here. And it isn't even clear to me that it's gonna go anywhere. But we'll try it. Okay, let's see. If I bring you up here... Actually, I can just phase through you like that. That unlocks something. Oh, crap. Didn't see you. Oh, is there going to be a race? I didn't even think about that. And also, is there anywhere to go down here? Not clear to me that there is. This shows a right exit? Interesting. Is the right exit which just got unlocked somehow? What did get unlocked? What did that little shooty unlocky thingy actually do? Oh, it did something up in the top left. Okay. Well, let's go try to check that out next, I suppose. 
So yeah, basically just over there to the left, and I can get back up there totally. If I do this, and then can I get back up here? Not very easily. So I'm probably going to take some damage here, but that's not so bad. By jumping in the lava. But now, this is open? No. This is open, yes. So where are we here? Okay, oops. Okay, there's some kind of new thing that's shooting at me. I can shoot at shots. Okay, it appears to be like some kind of metroid kind of thing. Let's see, can I? Yes. Use charge shots from here to take it out from a distance. Let's try to do the same thing with this guy. Oops, crap. Uh, okay, I need to shoot that. How am I going to get up there? Let's let's figure out the geometry of this room. Um, and then can I... I'm not sure I can just reach it from here. I think I need to get up to a higher platform. So let's try going up here. Okay, this one I can definitely take out. Great, it's gone. And then this is one I can also take out. Great. There we go. Okay. And can I jump into here? Yes. Great. I think... Have I been in this room before? It looks vaguely familiar. Eh, maybe not. How am I going to get up there? I suppose I can do this and then this. Oops, wrong button. Uh, but hopefully you see what I was going to do there. I was going to use the hook shot to grapple around. But I need to remember which button the hook shot is. Okay, and this guy's shooting at me already now, which is not good. Uh, let's ignore that. Okay, can't ignore that right now. Can I shoot that guy from here by any chance? No, he's too far away. Okay, so let's try to hook shot quickly then. So I'm going to zing. Uh, hmm. There we go. Okay. And now from here. Okay. Let me just make sure that I take out the things that are being shot at me, as well as the thing that I'm trying to shoot at. Then I can get up here. Okay, let's take out these. Hey, go away. Okay. You need to die. There we go. Great. And when I killed everything, I think something just opened to the left. Okay, and this is like a secret room that we've never been to before. Whoa. That looks like blocks that might fall. That one might fall as well. Ooh. That's shootable blocks. Okay, interesting. And there's just like a sphere here. Hmm. So there was like a s dinosaur skeleton or something. And then just like a circle. And that's all I can discern. So let me mark this as a suspicious spot. 2114. It's been added to the notes. And I presume this will drop me back down. It looks like this is somewhere I've been on the map before. Oh yeah, but I haven't been on this side of this room before. Because I didn't have the ability to go through the gold blocks. I remember this room. Okay. Well, it looks like I can go down from here. And that will be somewhere new to explore as well. So let's check it out. There is a save point to my left that I've never been to. I would very much like a save point. So let's take that. Anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it, but I'm definitely in a new environment again. I'm outside of the heat lava sector, or whatever it was. So let's see, what do we got? Not many enemies. This looks like it's going to head back over towards... Hmm. Is there a way to go over here? Guess not. Looks like it's heading back over towards like the AI mainframe and the computers and all that kind of stuff. This looks like it might be a setup for a boss battle or something over here as well. This definitely feels boss battle-y. What do we got here? Dot dot dot. Who is this? Unable to recognize this. Where is it from? Unfamiliar, unrecognized. It is in a prohibited area. Preparing removal. Okay, station AI. Hey, guess what? Found the AI. Okay, it's vulnerable when it was not moving, it seems like. But when those things were spinning around it, I think it was invulnerable. Oh, gosh. Okay. 
Uh, maybe it is still vulnerable. I'm glad there was a save point right here. Okay, are you vulnerable? Uh, you were definitely vulnerable then. I still don't have a lot of weaponry at my disposal. Uh, you are taking damage then, so that's good. I could give that another try. But I know that there's an energy tank that I could get back to now, and so I kind of want to get back to the energy tank. So I'm going to see if I can manage to do that. Okay, I managed to find a different route, and I'm already up here to where I was struggling to get up to before. Oops, sorry, there's things falling on my head here, which is not as good. Ooh, how am I going to get up there? I can probably grapple it somehow. If I'm clever. That was almost good enough. I could probably actually do it from here, maybe, except for I would need the double jump. Eh, maybe not. There we go. Okay, this should get me to the energy tank, I think. Yes. You found a health tank. Max health increased by two. Okay, I'm up to 26. That'll give me a better shot at the station's AI. Let me go ahead and save. I do think there's possibly some other upgrades or secrets that I could go and find first. And I wouldn't mind trying to upgrade my character uh, before moving forward, but it seems like I have to do a circle around. Oh, hey, I just found something new. I was exploring more around up here, and this is a secret room. It occurred to me that I hadn't seen the room to the left, and there was space to grapple. And in here... I guess I can just, like, fall through here. Oops, okay. Now I'm gonna take some damage. That's okay. Welcome to the Graveyard of Buzzsaws. Imagine here a joke where the word peace is replaced with peace. Surely there's more. I could go down or left, potentially, from this room. How about left? Nothing obvious there. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Down is also not clear that there's going to be any spots to go down from here. Uh, left could be from the top somewhere, so if I go over here... I don't really see anywhere to go there, either. There's a save point right here, right next to the graveyard of Buzzsaws. And so I'm going to fool around in here a little bit more and see if I can find anything. Alright, the graveyard of Buzzsaws is mysterious, but I didn't see anything there. But there was another place... Oh, I forgot about you. Let's see if I'm any better at killing you. Okay, good. There was a place over here that I had marked that I might be able to grapple my way out of the world, basically, out of the bubble. I think it's in this next room, possibly. Yeah, kind of like the top right over here, I think. Okay, another one of these guys to get rid of. There we go. You stand still. That seems to be the best strategy against those guys. Oh crap. I did not realize there was another one. Let's just not worry about them right now. Okay, there's the spot where I need to grapple. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back over here. This will give me the opportunity to kill this guy off. There we go. And then I want to grapple along the ceiling, which I'm going to do how? I guess like this. All right, that kind of almost works, but not quite. But I can probably make something work, maybe. Can I not spend my jump, double jump and still grapple here? Doesn't seem like it. Could I grapple? Can I do like this? Hmm. All right, let's spend my double jump at the beginning. Grapple and grapple. Man, I would need a lot of momentum there. Probably gonna die, but it's not a big deal because there is just a save point very nearby. Grapple, grapple. I kind of see where I might need to grapple. Let me try it again. Hey, uh, that almost did it. Okay, I managed to be standing up here, which means I have my double jump preserved now. And so now if I can grapple and then double jump from here, it seems plausible. Oh, uh, almost. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, it seems like it's preventing me from doing that. Is there any other place that I could... Can you grapple against this part? Yo, you can! Oh, except for I just fell down. Alright, well that's fine. I can kill myself. 
Okay, can I do this from here? Hoop! Eh, that didn't quite work. Maybe a little bit farther out. Except for I don't want to uh, don't want to use my double jump. Can I jump back up from here, possibly? It's a little bit too high, so I'd have to just kill myself to get back. Gosh darn it. Oh! I can walk to the right right here! Have I done this before? You just walk right through that wall. Um... Can I do anything here? No... Hmm... Alright... Well, I'll have this on my map if I get back to a save. And from the other side, it looks like is the thing that's gonna unlock it. It's a fresh day for Brian. I made it back to the save point where we can fight the station AI. And yeah, I'd spent like an hour and a half previously on this episode and did a lot of wandering around looking for things, not really finding anything. So I think 26 health is what we got to try to fight this guy. And so, can I skip all this dialogue? Yes. All right, since it's a fresh day, I'm sure I'm gonna be warming up uh, and be poor at fighting this guy. And so this will just kind of be our warm-up round. I might go back and look at the video to try to get a sense of exactly when he takes damage and if there's certain phases where I can't hit him and that kind of stuff. Alright, doesn't seem like his energy trail that he leaves behind actually deals damage to me, so that's nice. And some of his attacks are actually not all that threatening, which is also nice. Oh! Okay, halfway down, he switches phases, okay. And he turns into a giant <laughs> flaming skull. Because why wouldn't he? Alright, some of those attacks are actually reasonably well telegraphed. I'm gonna try not using charge shots this time, just to get a sense of if and how it's different uh, in terms of fighting him. And it'll give me my fingers less work to do <laughs> in terms of holding down buttons and whatnot. Okay, he sometimes likes to just sit on you. That's something that's true of a lot of enemies in this game. That's one of my criticisms of the game overall, is there's a lot of the enemies who just like to sit on top of you <laughs> uh, and continually deal melee damage and there's not enough knockback to kind of get away from them or whatever, and so that's one of the most annoying things about certain enemies in this game. Okay, the difficulty of not using charge shots is then the range on my gun is just not as good, uh, in addition to not dealing. Not dealing as much damage, so, hmm, charge shots might be better. Okay, I'm just gonna attempt this a few times and see how we do. Oh boy! That got close! Okay, here we go. Doing pretty well so far. Yes! I think I did it! Is that the last phase? I know I haven't won the game because it said 54% in terms of my completion percentage when I logged in, but that is the station AI. Why does it resist? It is from outside the station. It could be useful. Retreating. Ooh, we could be useful. All right, and a computer opened up. I think I'm afraid even to talk to the computer. I want to go save my game. <laughs> so I'm going to go save my game first. Okay, the game has been saved. Let's try this. Success! I've located the source of the virus. It appears to have entered the station from a nearby derelict ship. We've teleported to that ship before. Maybe a robot brought it here after returning from an exploration trip? <laughs> We're a robot on an exploration trip. It seems that a teleporter still has access to the ship. Yes, I've been there. I've marked its location here. To enter the ship proper, one needs a password. Good thing we have some advanced equipment here. The password is, here we go, 18466. Let me write this down. All right, it has been written. Map updated with the location of the ship. So let's check out our map. 
And yeah, the teleporter that's blinking in the upper left hand there takes us to the ship, which is in the bottom right hand side, but then we didn't have the password. So I guess that's our next destination. What's the best way to get there from here? Okay, the teleporter is right near. That was the save station that we first dropped down into right at the beginning of the game. And so you may or may not recognize this. Uh, but basically the teleporter is right through here and we've been here once before. Right, I actually glitched out on the screen once, I remember. Okay, oh! Target heading towards cargo ship A152. Unable to follow. Does this seek knowledge of me? Retreating. Okay. And there's a crazy eyeball watching us. So the station AI, I guess, still knows all our movements. Wherever it is, wherever it lives. Some ethereal world. Right, and so we've read all of that before. Where is it that I need the password? The ship is not very big. I managed to go to... Let's zoom in on the map. Uh, there's a health upgrade apparently somewhere to the right that I guess I couldn't get to. And there's a save point above us. Let's go to the save point first. Right, and now these things are going to be constantly shooting at us. That's not great. And I probably don't have to kill this thing. Oh, can I kill this thing? I think it's taking damage. Yes, okay, I can kill that thing. And does it turn into something I can step on? No, it does not. I was wondering if I could use it possibly as a, uh, a boost. <laughs> Okay, so we can go here, and I guess is this where we need the password? I think so. Security code is required here. Hmm. A security code, 18466. Oh, I didn't need to write it down. We just had to have completed that dialogue, and it remembers for us. Zing! Okay, we are in a new spot. Excitement and adventure. I can just phase through that like that. Okay. And, okay, I need the triple shot to hit that thing in the corner. Uh, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Uh, can I just go straight up from here? I thought I hit it there. There we go. Okay. And the music here is very spooky. I like it. it sounds like we're in some deep mystery. Oh! Yeah, da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> uh, new threats. I think I just... Okay, so assuming that these... Everything below my feet there is going to be lasers that charge up. I need to move quickly here. Do the lasers go through? No, they can't go through that ceiling. Uh, and I just need to use the hook shot and then move quickly. Okay. Oops, I shouldn't have wasted my double jump. And... Oh, it's only when I'm walking on them. It's not when I, like, fly above them. Okay, so that's not so Oh gosh, they hurt. Four damage, wow. And what is this? Oh, those are like the um yeah. The horizontal lines, except for there aren't any horizontal lines. Okay, this is a dangerous place. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, damage boost through some of this because oh gosh. I thought there was an entrance to the left, but maybe not. There's also something up and to the right, so let me try to get there. Oh boy. Okay, I'm here. Let's try going this way. I've already lost like two thirds of my health practically. Um, I see you. Oh boy. Okay, you guys are dead. There's something else pulsing in the corner here. Can I hit these guys through the wall? Yeah. So let's do that. Did I hit that guy? I don't think I can hit that guy. Okay. This looks breakable. Fair enough. Can I hit these guys through the wall? No. What happens when I hit this? It opens up something. A ceiling or something over here. Let me check that out first. Okay, that was one way. There is a save point in this room. Uh, can I get there? Yes. Should I go ahead and save? I guess so. Save point has been offered to me. Let's assume that the game designers know what they're doing. <laughs> and where am I in the ship? The ship is bigger than 
than I realized, or than I remembered. Okay. There's... okay. Everything likes to shoot at us everywhere. That's what we've learned about this area. There is a place to go back down over there, but I've been in that room, it seems like. So left is probably good. Why were we coming here? Other than it was marked on our map? I don't even remember at this point. Okay, there's something else shooting at us, because why not? This seems to be kind of very separated from the ship way over here. Yeah, we're going... We're going, like, to... Oh, hello. Okay. We've diagnosed the virus affecting those robots we found. It's actually really cool, kind of like a living organism. Its main objective appears to be to ensure its own existence. This it does by seeking out sources of electricity and, and infecting those if possible. After finding more hosts, it seems to absorb the energy of the previous ones. I wonder who coded this. It seems really sophisticated. Okay, that's not a particularly elucidating bit of lore. And on this one, it looks like there might be a way to go up or down. Oh, there's a diskette up there. Do you see that? Uh, let me make a note of that with gold blocks right above the screen I'm on. So that would be 2519. All right, it has been so noted. What else do we got? Anything we can see on any of these screens? So obviously, like, there's like a whole mazy bit over there. And there's... okay. Yeah, it seems like there's gonna be platforms to, like, get outside of this whole mess. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, I think down is a way that I've never been. No, down and left is a way that I've never been. And I'm still mostly at maximum health, so let's just go ahead and give that a try. Right, I chose not to go this way originally. Oh! Is this going to bring me to the outside world? It seems like it is. Here's another one of these guys. Who I seem to recall only takes like four charge shots. Maybe five. Fair enough, whatever. I'm going to defend myself from that thing. Then we can kill that. And then let's shoot this thing again. Oh boy. I don't like having all these things shooting at me. You know what? Uh, enemies are just here. I see, that guy rolls. It looks like there's a way to go up and down through the air currents over there, but before we do... The station has some extreme defense mechanisms. However, there's a trick to turn some of them off for good. Ooh, I would love to know that. If you were to attempt visiting the AI mainframe, you should head to the very bottom part of the station. Been kind of down there, but I can't get there now, it seems like. Security override as well as docking equipment are located there. Map updated with the location of the security override. Okay, it's way below where we've been before. Interesting. Okay, that could be useful. Uh, let's try going up through the air currents. Which is the leftmost air current, I think, goes up? Yeah. So can I just do that? Yes. Great. So that's how we get up into this section that had the diskette. Although I don't have the... Oh, crap, I just went back down. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. I don't have the ability to get through the gold bricks, and so that's not going to help me just yet. I'm not even sure what that mess is. This looks like a double jump and a dash. Actually, let's jump. Oops, crap. All right, well, that worked, kind of. We'll just dash there. So below me is where the diskette is, but I don't have a way to get it yet. Okay. Oh, boy, that's going to start shooting at me. Um, and... I guess I can just uh, jump, dash, double jump. That sounds good. Okay, jump, dash, double jump. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I'll be back. Okay, this time I intend to make it. There we go. All right, and I read all the computers that I'd read before. Oh, save point? This is a different save point. We're at a different spot, okay. Um, this is great, and that looks like some kind of power-up. I think that might be the gold brick power-up that'll allow us to open the gold blocks. You found the yellow key card. Yellow barriers unlock automatically to you. So I can see a yellow barrier to the right. And so is it just if I get near it, it unlocks automatically? Yes! Okay, pretty cool. And there is another save point over there. 
And how do I get to the other save point over there? Because it seems like if I do this, it's just going to push me out this way. There is also a save point below me, and I also want to go back and try to get the diskette. Oh, and there's somewhere to go to the left, apparently. Uh, but let me try once to see if I can figure out... I guess, can I do that and double jump? No. Can I... Jump, dash, double jump? Probably. So if I did it from here, jump, dash... Ah. <laughs> could also just stand in the lightning. Um, there we go. <laughs> Took me a million tries to get that, I cannot tell you. Okay, so we saved... We have the gold key card. There's ways to the left and ways to the right, and right is the only way I can go right now. So let's go to the right. Oh gosh, plague hive. Um, I don't seem to be damaging that. Okay, there's like corners we could take out potentially. Oh, and it spits out more goo. Okay. <laughs> I did not remember this. Do I need to take out all of it? I'm not even sure. Okay, is that damaging it? Okay, it does seem to take damage in the center, maybe. And it spits little worms at me. And then eventually spits pieces of itself. And then that makes it vulnerable. Maybe. Alright, goo boss. <laughs> okay, well it seems like we have to fight this boss to move forward. So let me give it another try. I'm going to assume that it's good to take out kind of other sections of it. Although the top portions don't seem to be doing anything to me. Okay, I'm definitely dealing damage to the blue thing in the middle. And I'm not sure that I'm doing any damage anytime otherwise. Okay. So I want to get rid of that. And get rid of that. And I want to take out the little guys. Okay, and that thing shoots. Okay, I just did another battle on my own, and I think I learned three things. One, when the tentacle swings around, you should dash through it to avoid damage. Two, it shows where it's targeting when it's going to spit out goo balls, and so you should avoid those and then take them out. And... Three is basically the goo balls and the stuff on the ground mostly seem to just be kind of places for me to take melee damage and have trouble on the surface, and so I need to shoot the stuff that's on the ground just so that I have space to move. Okay, so I think I know what I'm doing now. Let's give it a try. And I need to take out these little worms. And I failed the dash. Uh, but I think, actually, I might have had iframes from the little worms. And so, due to that invincibility... Didn't take actual damage, and then I need to hop over that after it explodes. That's another thing that I learned, I guess. Okay, oops, I forgot to dash. Okay, dash. Okay, it does that three times, it seems like. Okay, take out the little guys. Okay, get ready. Okay, take out the little guy. Jump. I hardly get any damage on him, but at least I'm doing a better job of avoiding damage, I think. Okay, so that's where he's going to target. Okay, take it out. Take out a little guy. Take that out. Take out a little guy. Take that out. Get a shot or two on him. Oh, man. 